What's going on, everybody? This is Ryan A. Polk with the wrap-up. Saw the Invisible Man, a horror movie that I have been very impatient to go see because I really had liked the trailer. And this movie stars Elizabeth Moss, we got Aldous Hodge, Storm Reed, and Oliver Jackson Cohen, who plays the Invisible Man. And this movie, you, this movie is also directed by Jason Bloom. And this movie is is about is about Elizabeth Moss's character. She is in a relationship with Oliver Jackson Cohen character and who's very abusive and she 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 ends up she winds up, you know, escaping from him. She finds out that he commits suicide, at least so she thought, but really she he had found out a way to make himself invisible and he keeps on fucking with her while you know, while he's invisible. And now she's trying to stop him too, and she's also just like losing it too as well, from as you can see from if you have seen the trailer. And this movie, I got to say, this was a great way to kick off 2020 as far as for the horror movies, because this is this is right now the best horror movie of 2020. And this movie, this movie, I think that they did a well job with the casting. I like the effects that that was going on in the movie, like when. With the Invisible Man and like some of the like tastics that was going on when you know with, that the Invisible Man was was doing and everything and with the ideas they had for him and however though there was some there was some parts where I was just thinking like okay you know we got a guy I mean yes he's invisible but still how come nobody was not bumping into this cat or anything or how was they, or is he that slim to where he was sliding past people? And how was he getting to this spot really fast? Or how did he get to this spot? Because if my big ass was invisible, then I would have been bumping into somebody, or I think somebody would have bumped into me. But but then again, you know what? It's but then you know what? It's a movie, but it was still a good movie. But that's the only thing I'd say that like I did that like I probably had I'd say that like I did not like about it. And also, I mean, they're. I did think that at first I thought that there were going to be like a few jump scares in the movie because, you know, it's in, because, you know, it's the Invisible Man, but it wasn't. And I'm not going to spoil anything because that's not what I do, but you will like this movie and you will like how the way the story turns out in the movie. And, you know, you will be surprised too, as well in the movie, well, you know, as you watch it, because... I will say that like there were some parts where I felt like the movie was going kind of slow and when I was watching it I kept on thinking why did they need this scene or they, sh they shouldn't have they shouldn't have added this scene or this scene should have been taken out but after looking back at the movie you know it was a well-paced movie and I'm happy that they did have the scenes you know that they had used and another thing also I noticed was was that that had me wonder was how are people not noticing these invisible tastics that are that are going on like how or like at least not knowing that that somebody invisible is is in the room so that's that was another thing that had me wondering with the movie but overall i mean it was yeah i mean it was it's the best horror movie of 2020 to me i know that that um the mtv movie awards they be having the scared as shit award or scared as shit performance award is i believe that's the name of it and elizabeth moss should get nominated for that award because she did a terrific job and being scared as shit and at the same time being badass too as well i mean the invisible man was badass too but but she was but but she was definitely a badass i mean she killed that part and the acting was you know the acting was good it wasn't no terrible acting the storyline of the movie was good I really had enjoyed it. Judging by how the way this had ended, it looks like another one could be made, possibly. And if they were to make another one, I would go see it. I would watch it. I'm not gonna say I would. I mean, I will go see it because yeah, it was because it was that damn good to where like where if I find out they're making a sequel, I'm gonna be impatient to see that one. And this is also a reboot to H.G. Wells Invisible Man, which was a, a which was a sci-fi black and white movie. And I've never seen that one, but I do want to check it out because I am wondering what it's what you know what it is, what what's it like, and but when I was watching this movie, it it kind I kind of felt like it was almost like something related to Hollow Man, but this was better than Hollow Man. Um, Hollow Man ain't got nothing on the Invisible Man.
it it was it was de it's definitely one of the best movies of 2020 i mean we still got some more horror movies to look forward to in 2020 but right now invisible man holds that title to the best horror movie and should you go wait or should you go pay to go see this movie you should definitely go see this movie it is it is definitely worth seeing you will not be disappointed especially if you're a fan of horror movies and thriller movies i think you will enjoy this movie and if you're a fan of jason bloom movies of bloom house then I think you will. I think you will enjoy this movie. And out of five stars, I give The Invisible Man four out of five stars. For its grade, I give it a B plus. And until then, this is Ryan A. Polk with the wrap up signing off.